Last time in Cedar City, this is where I usually hold back a bit. Things took an unexpected turn. The holes will be dug. And went desperately wrong. Deadly. A front and a back guard almost pushed oh us across God. the line. <laughs> but we narrowly escaped disaster with a beautiful landscape design. That came together all right. Gorgeous. I'm Joel, a landscape designer and budding rock star. That's good. Thank you. So much best work. Here's my partner, Kennedy, who knows what a guitar is. Yeah, excellent. And my other slightly confused partner, James. Yeah, hi, James here. These are my clients, Desmond and Janet. And we're tackling their front and backyards. Our immediate family is myself and Desmond, and we have three boys. We've been, you know, trying to do a little bit of planting and keep it looking okay until the last couple of years we've really said, man, we're, we're not winning here. We need a professional. A professional? Is it? Uh, Me? Uh, you know, that's uh, lunch. That's what Joel's been hired to do for us. In the front, they're upset because it doesn't look great for the neighbors. It's in a state of disrepair. And in the back, they can't use the space for themselves. It was advertised as a low maintenance backyard and we kept it a low maintenance backyard. I guess over the years, the patio stones have um, really deteriorated. It's sloping off to one side. There's an old tree stump that we neglected to get rid of. Hmm, this looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass. No, the, the first order of dirty business. Hey, nice. A site survey. Checking out my chest, there you go. I am. Uh, they <laughs> <laughs> Our chief designer, Lauren, is here to help, to write down some important figures okay. and take a few snaps. Okay, now we have to take some photos. Okay. This is where the magic begins. Not exactly a fashion shoot, oh, oh but God, needing a oh wardrobe God. change anyway. I honestly don't know why you're seeing this. Avert your eyes, it'll be over soon. So, <clears throat> Back to Desmond and Janet's place. So we're trying to create an interesting entrance here. Maybe like some nice arc, uh, like uh, type of well, that'd be nice. action going just to soften the whole front yard. Well, maybe this could be some sort of a wall. Actually, you know what would be great is if uh, we could carry this detail, the arc wall, onto the yeah, waterfall. That's a great idea. I think our kids will definitely be using it to run around or to do some balancing on the top of that arcway. It's only 18 inches off the ground. What could happen? The backyard? This is the practical everyday space. I think you have to call it what it is uh, as far as Court a path, yeah. But maybe we can do some interest across here and making a, a room type of feeling. We like to add some architecture here because the views there aren't very pretty. There's a house right here and then the garage and then their house and then there's another house here. It's all quite crammed in. So it'd be nice to give them something to frame them. We're thinking screens of six by six cedar inset with tempered sandblasted glass. Usually we're using them as partitions with right. lock. Maybe this way we could uh, have it as so they viewing want sort areas. of a corridor and yeah. it becomes like an architectural feature they walk yeah. through. The usable space is 15 by 18, so that's like, like the size of a nice size living room. So you can make nice space in there, I think. Yeah, nice room for a patio. But another thing the client is interested in addressing is the green issue. They are composters, which is great to see. That's interesting. Sorry, let me repeat that. They do <laughs> composting, which is great to see. We're all composters. We all, uh, at the end of the day. Okay. We've been giving our compost to our neighbors, and now we'll actually be able to use our own compost, and hopefully that means we'll have an even better garden nice to see people growing their own vegetables and enjoying them. They also have rain barrels, which are great for recycling water. They're interested in putting in trees that ultimately will cause shade, which will keep the climate cool. Our first impression was like, wow, it was really quite impressive from an artistic point of view. Most of the ideas that Joel has come up with, we've gone with. I love it. I think it's, it could be just a beautiful little garden. I agree. Yeah. I guess my hesitation is just the, uh, the mess that this place is going to be in in a, in a couple days. Did someone say mess? Two tiny urban spaces, one big rip out. A real, if you know what I mean. Next on the stump, that big old stump. 
kinda looks like a molar. Ugh, I can almost feel it coming out. That part of it's supposed to be staying. At least, that was the plan. Joel? Yeah. How much of the driveway stand here? It's been a piece of cake, but we're not totally in the clear. Just how are we going to green this place up? Hey, hey, Kennedy, how you doing? Hey, so the front yard. Yeah. We're trying to soften the uh, the view out. I'm thinking a nice yeah. cluster yeah. of like four service berries or right. pears. Like pears might be really good, actually. And it makes their house kind of recess from the yeah. road. It'd be really kind of neat to do some beach here that could be clipped into the cube. I'll squeak in a nice focal here, just again, softened by the door. Yeah. And it also blocks this house out. The backyard is definitely simpler than the front. Yeah. At the back is a brick wall with a window. Right. So I think that a, you know, a tree that has some nice height, so it gives us an opportunity to do something interesting, like some nice astilbe or something yeah. Yeah. that can handle yeah. shade. Yeah, sure. And give them a little bit of flower, actually. I think that would be a good idea. But this area, I'm thinking two standard trees in here again, because I feel like, yeah, if you did an evergreen or you did the columnar, that's it. You wouldn't even see the panels anywhere. It wouldn't show off or anything. Yeah. So no, no, I think for sure it's got to be standing. Yeah. Things could still change dramatically, even at this stage of the game. Better talk it through one final time with Janet and Desmond. Jim, the driveway is going to be a continuation of the arc stone wall. You guys are going to have this integration of these two arcs coming together. And the driveway is going to be two-tone with asphalt and uh, Belden paver. And is this the area where the uh, ledge rock wall is going to be yeah. that we've been talking about? Yeah, exactly. They're just so laying... That's what's going to give our house curb appeal. The... <laughs> A joke! And our segue to the action outback. It's looking good. If we start with this area here as to what's happening, this is really the focal because of our privacy screens. And then we're going to have your nice upper patio here with your soon-to-be vegetable patch. And then we're looking to get a bit more privacy. So I think we spec'd originally a standard service berry, which is a mid-sized tree shrub. Great interest through every season. We have some uh, just sort of the barbecue decking area that will just be built right on top because the drainage is working out great. Then we'll have our patio going across here to sort of delineating the space. Again, hopefully we can move this guy. It will mean that you guys will have to sacrifice a bit of your upper deck if you're comfortable with that. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You want to remove that post? Yeah, six by six pressure treated post. Couldn't be more ugly. Four screens going here? Yep. All each glass? Yep. Okay. Well, obviously you want this out of here then. Yeah. Okay, well, ideally, where do you want the post? Anywhere back here. Okay. We can move this post back, but we have to put one on the house. Against the house to support that. That is a 10 times better answer than I thought I was going to get. So now that the deck is dealt with, the office empties for a field trip to the stone quarry. It's all this. Oh, I love this, eh? A lava pour. Can you guys all stand in front of it so I can't take a picture of it? Hold on. Let's see, 203 is what I weigh. Look at that. It's like right on. They have a lot here. I know, they have a lot here. I don't think we've seen nice sort of wire thing flags that in for a long time. Sometimes I wish it wouldn't. Installing it, all of a sudden you get this in a year and they want to jack the stone out. I think that's a common example of people like being wanting it to be like an interior, but that's the beautiful thing about natural stone outside. It has these imperfections. Imperfections and all, this stuff is going to rock on the front walk and rear patio. Now, for the arc wall out front. This is two inch and this is eight inch. They'll probably wind up with like a four inch stone somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so I think it'll be beautiful that. by the time the guys get done chipping it. 
every stone is going to be curved. It's not they're stacked like this, a whole bunch of straight lines, and then it becomes a curve. They curve chisel every one yeah. of the stones. And to stop from going mad, even our guys use a template. It makes for nice, clean lines. This is not an inexpensive stone, so when you're investing money like that, you want yeah. to do it right. This is the template for the curve because it's a double-sided wall, so there's going to be an inner and an outer curve. So you work your way across the top of the stone, mark the sides, and then flip it and match the corners. And this has to be done for every single piece of this flagstone. And it's a ton and a half of chisel. Even out the grade in the backyard, we're compacting screening before laying the stone. Nothing like an even walking surface. Lay it down upside down, and we'll flip it over into position. Flip one, two. It's as if you can't see the forest for the post. I'm just trying to figure if the uh, scale's gonna be a little too heavy. That's where I usually hold back a bit. It's time for feedback from the Brain Trust. I put my staircase I haven't been there since the weekend. The cup, what was that? I had a hernia. I almost gave myself a hernia on the weekend, too. I can't remember what I was doing. Well, funny enough, I was there. And, and uh, it was bizarre. That's way too much information. <laughs> so, and gave let's get hernia. back on track. Are going to ask oh, you yeah. to go and take a look at the posts and posts. tell me what you think? We want to look at the posts. Because it looks like a forest, and they look, don't look like they have any rhyme or reason until they're finished. That's, That's right. what Insula leaves off in I, I actually think they're going to create a really nice feeling of the upper patio being a really nice room. An outdoor room? I could see it if those posts weren't in the way. Des said, oh, I don't know about that. Can we change our minds? These posts were a bit shocking to him at first. To help soften the change, we've saved the fence. So it was suggested a nice black stain would really help to kind of blend it into the background. And I think it's really doing that. It looks kind of neat. Nice to know we're somewhat on track because this small project is surprisingly large. I don't know, still looks like a lot of toothpicks. But something else has got me uneasy. They want to meet today. About, I don't know, I don't like it when clients want to meet midway through a project. Everything's been going peachy, I don't know. It would be really bad to change the design direction now. Turns out it's only a composting 911. I, I've, I've done nothing. <laughs> We're all composters. We are uh, at the end of the day. We have these awesome rolling composters, which, as Desmond is telling me about, it's great for <laughs> yeah. speeding up the process. Yeah, they work better because uh, when you turn them around, it, it oxygenates the uh, process, and composting is an aerobic process. Did someone say aerobic? So, Lauren's got time for the gym? Mm. And you guys are doing a vegetable patch, so it's going to be tomatoes, right? Yeah. Organic tomatoes Organic. fresh compost. There you go. So we're off. When you have three kids, you need two composters. <laughs> well, things really are coming semi-circle, as can be seen with the new parking pad. And speaking of round objects... They're pretty big balls. They're pretty big yeah. balls here, yeah. which is great, because it always means we have a nice, healthy root system That's right. yeah. in those balls. Those balls. Yeah. yeah, big yeah. balls. Oh, my back. Thanks, Leo. Oh, my back. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I'm not sure about these guys. Those <laughs> things are you now as they're a little too small. So, anyways, I it's like, like planting a big stick right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi, Peter. It's Joel. The Acer Janellas are just a little too Charlie Brown Christmas tree like. So, do you have anything big? The ferns actually, I think, go in the top left corner, but the grasses go into the back. Putting the evergreen uh, new hedge in is an easy, cheap fix. A lot less expensive than building a nice cedar screen. Whoever services it will also need access to it, so it's easier to get at. So there's four. One, two, three, and four. Uh, if you guys just want to get a picture of the crew getting really mad at me because I asked them to take it off the truck, put it on the truck, and now I've asked them to take it back off the truck. Hi, Desmond, how are you? The plants just uh, were delivered, but uh, two of the, the trees for the backyard showed up, they were just too small. So I sent them back. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that we'll be waiting a few more days for the trees that are going in the planters in the backyard. Okay, no 
for between those still imaginary screens in the backyard, we've got just the right thing. There's a chartreuse green Japanese maple, and uh, with the black stone and everything, it is an unbelievable color combination. So it might be a little tight with the glass screens, but I think we can make it work. Seems like we've been here forever, and there's still a ton to do. Finishing touches to the stonework, lighting, even more woodwork, and the driveway needs a fix up after all. The tinier the yard, the bigger the challenge. Sports are doing what they're supposed to be doing. We've planned it well. And I see screens. This is tempered glass. It's the kind of stuff you see in hockey rinks. Tim's going to have it solid on all sides. So there's no chance of uh, any harm or any worry with the children. The tempered glass finally going in means we can call our stylist Lisa to help give the backyard a fresco appeal. So no doubt this is a dining patio kids will be playing out here as well. So you, Not much so, room to make yeah. in terms of, you know, where to put things. That's, I would say, your biggest challenge here is that, uh, again, there's still, I think, a lot of kids' toys to come out. Maybe we'll tell the kids to go minimal with their toys. <laughs> <laughs> but what we can play around with are things that can be easily moved around by the homeowners yeah. and, and to change around to make it more interesting. Very luminous. Honey, can you light the candle? Okay. <laughs> We've got light. How about seating? Oh, this is a way better fit. But this would be nice, it's round. It'll go great. Couldn't agree more. You know, when people come up to a front yard and they're coming into your house, the first thing they see is the garden. It's hugely important, so try and make it sink. When you start off with a big job like that, I don't think you know what you're going to have or see at the end, but how it all works together has been a pretty neat thing to watch. And whether it's professionally designed or by a homeowner, you can go out and buy an inexpensive urn, plant it up through every season, or a piece of art, sculpture. These are focals that are attainable by everybody to varying degrees, and they give interest. You know, there's different ways of doing this. If you're on a budget, this wall could have been out of like Absolutely. So there's some nice options for there. Gives them a beautiful view out of that front window too, which is really nice. Get away from that traditional foundation planting up against the house. With the one element that I enjoy the most, it's, it's the stonework. I really enjoy just walking up from my car, going up the steps one way, or if I need to pick up the groceries in the trunk, I can walk around the walkway to the other. It almost seems like it's bigger than the actual space is. Honestly, I think it's the most creative front yard we've done. It's a beautiful urban little lot. It is bang on. Amazing in what you can really do to achieve, you know, something Curb like this. Curb appeal. Curb appeal. Yeah. So can we see the back yeah, yard? Let's check yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, I heard there's more to oh, this job. Okay. The backyard with the tempered glass and the structures, it's, it's like a, an extra room to our house. Whoa. You want to try and do things different, but I think it's the kids. Because they had kids, I thought they'd want to see in there. I didn't want to make them feel walled off, but I wanted to have something different and unique, so therefore, the screens. You would have never considered sitting in the back before. Now that we almost have an extra room back there, I think we will be spending a lot more time there. They're not really screens. Like from the house looking out, they don't screen off. They screen the angles when you're back here. And that's where yeah. the, the, During the, the entry, privacy was needed. Entry, you know, yeah, it really totally. is cool. Great clients. Clients that were on the same page as far as green issue is concerned. They were into composting. For, for yeah. a very small garden, the compost, they're very innocuous. You hardly yeah. see them, but Absolutely. they're still there. Black yeah. on black. They want a vegetable garden, all these things. And plant material. We installed a lot of beautiful plant material that's going to be great for the environment. And these service berries make a great backdrop to this brick facade behind us. We got great plant material. They, they came in nice, big, and beautiful. What is this Japanese flower? Is it a it's just a, a green it's just standard. Green. Also, the uh, dogwoods in there, they look amazing. The very yeah, good very dogwoods, good. Dogwood, it lightens up that little yeah. space. Yeah. Yeah. Beautifully. I think Joel and the guys really did a great job identifying what we needed and what we wanted. The front might be a little bit more bold than we actually are, but that's okay. <laughs> because it's okay to be different and to, to have something that you really like. Well, I would say it's privacy in an urban setting. You know, we can still see our neighbors, but we have our own little space. 
Nice work, guys. Great going, beautiful. Bro. Great team. Great going, man. Excellent. Great going. Excellent. Great going. Excellent. 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 Let's all have a human life. I think we should get uh, uh, great. What traumas do you think you're repressing from your childhood? Oh my God, you don't even want to know. Uh, lots. This is better than being on the couch. Ron, what the hell should I do? Personally, with my life. You know, I'm freaking paranoid, man. <laughs> You've only had one lesson. The other guys just look at me like you're a jackass. So. I'm just talking to myself. Man, my parents. Where'd everybody else? So I just feel so f***ed up.